Tonight, a Central Florida woman convicted of stealing your money is locked up in jail. It is part of an investigation News 6 has been following since last April. Candace Neal was featured in Mike DeForest's investigation into welfare fraud. And Mike, the judge says this kind of fraud will not be tolerated. That's right, Lisa. When we first met Candace Neal last year, she would not talk to us, but instead flashed us her middle finger. Now, earlier this week, a jury convicted Neal of ripping off taxpayers. Now, she's been ordered to pay for that crime. Wearing handcuffs, Candace Neal made a rude gesture as deputies hauled her off to jail. Neal will be locked up for the next six months as punishment for stealing your money so she could send her kids to this daycare. So you're giving the middle finger to taxpayers. Are you giving the middle finger to taxpayers? Earlier this week, a jury found Neal guilty of stealing state money that's meant to help working families with jobs afford child care. On this application, Neal claims she was employed at the Itty Bitty Learning Center, but the facility's owner says Neal has never worked there. The state proved Neal submitted falsified pay stubs in order to obtain more than $20,000 in child care subsidy. Neal was actually unemployed at the time, according to prosecutors. It's not clear what she was doing um, while her four kids were in the daycare center, but apparently nothing productive. I just want to say that I know that what I did was wrong. I do accept full of responsibility. Since there is limited money available, state investigators say Neal's crime prevented others with jobs from getting child care. Your kids got benefits uh, that the jury determined they were not entitled to get, and so that meant that other people didn't get those benefits. Judge Julio Kane sentenced Neal to six months in jail, followed by 14 years of probation. During that time, Neal must pay back the $20,000 she stole from taxpayers. When Neal gets out of jail in August, she's been ordered to pay at least $100 a month until her debt to the state is gone. She brought 500 bucks with her to court today. Lisa Very Ginger. interesting, Mike DeForest. Thank you.